everybody. On last night's Captains in the Kitchen, I made our viewers an offer they couldn't refuse. Vote on which iconic movie dish I'd be making ahead of the Oscars. And the winner is Clemenza Sauce from The Godfather. Take a look. The universal response is that it's too much tomato paste, but. I know guys, but what do you do? I'm method acting. <clears throat> Throw in your sausage and your meatballs. Throw them in, bring it to a boil, a little wine. <laughs> 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 so the moment has come to see if I'll be sleeping with the fishes like Luca Brazzi, or will I get a part two like The Godfather did? Ladies, manja! Oh, yeah. I can't wait to dive in. Okay. We're going to be really careful with our outfits. Smells incredible. It smells pretty Looks good. Looks incredible. Now, Jess, so. this isn't personal. It's strictly business, you know? <laughs> But I seem to recall that Clemenza just sort of threw some ingredients in a pot, right? There was no recipe. This is exactly right. I watched this clip from The Godfather three or four times and looked in the background and was making up the recipe built on that. So if you don't like it, I mean, you gotta blame Clemenza, not me! <laughs> Yes. This is amazing. It does it's amazing. amazing. So Clemenza had it right. Mm -hmm. she did. Two cans of tomato paste is unheard of. Unheard of. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now I understand just that the Academy was divided. Yes. The Academy was divided, and they say that there was a tie between this sauce and then the ratatouille sauce from Ratatouille. That's so right. What was your tiebreaker hmm. like metric then? I used the metric of which film won the most Oscars, and that was The Godfather. It seemed fitting, right? Yeah. Yeah. Godfather won three. Ratatouille did win. Uh, best animated film that year. Mm -hmm. So an excellent film. And promise, I'm gonna make that ratatouille, Mary Berg's ratatouille, Ooh. when all those vegetables are in season. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is a Godfather-themed caftans in the kitchen. So I gotta ask, where's the cannoli? <laughs> Kwame! <laughs> the cannoli? Oh, my God! Oh my God. Okay. Oh, well, oh, shout out to oh. Sam's Bakery in You're Stony best, Creek. Thank you. Oh, best. gosh. Okay. Well. I got to say, you know, my husband's Italian, and I think he would be like, hey, hey, oh, oh, hey. Bada me, bada me, bada me, bada me. What? That was Tony Maselli from Who's the Boss? What's happening here? <laughs> hey, yo, oh, boy. Italian viewers are going, just stop. Just, just stop. stop. Right. I'm stop. sorry. No. Jess Allen, you've outdone yourself again. Oscar worthy. Oscar worthy. Thank you. Oh my God. I'm wearing it. Speaking of which, do not forget to watch the Academy Awards this Sunday night right here on CTV. And of course, Captain's in the Kitchen. Honestly, could be up for an Oscar one day. <laughs> <laughs> Never know. Airs well, live on our Instagram page every other Thursday. Well, do not miss it. Well, well, well. <laughs> we can dream. We can dream. Yeah. Um, yeah. Up next. Hey there, what did you think? Drop your comments below and join the conversation. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you can find more on everything from food and fashion to pop culture and current events. See you soon.